Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas to all of you, our brothers and sisters around the world. And in Israel, even though Israel is a country without Christmas. I guess Jerusalem is a, a city without Christmas. Tel Aviv and Haifa has so many Russian immigrants, they celebrate Christmas. However, Christmas is not in the Bible, it's not in the New Testament, and we don't really know when Yeshua was born. It is a kind of, again, symbiotic, eclectic uh, holiday that has roots in Northern Europe and in, in the Coca-Cola factory that gave it the colors of red and white in the 1920s and uh, in commercial aspects of this holiday. I, I traveled just recently in China China has only 11% Christians, but China is celebrating Christmas. All the Buddhists, all the Taos, all the Shintos, all the Laos, everybody is celebrating Christmas. Shops, shopping centers are booming. Japan that has 1% Christian, they celebrate Christmas like crazy. I mean, there's the most beautiful tr Christmas trees, the biggest Christmas trees I've ever seen are in Japan, made with Swarovski crystals, very expensive shopping centers. Everybody's shopping for Christmas. All right. It became a very commercial holiday. I don't celebrate Christmas. Our congregation doesn't celebrate Christmas. Most of the people in our congregation don't celebrate Christmas. So, okay. What about Christmas? The birth of Yeshua is very important. No matter when he was born. Was born in December, in October, in September. Uh, some Jewish believers believe that he was born in Sukkot. Uh, this was also the idea of Moshe Emanuel Ben Meir, one of our co-founders of, of this ministry of Nativia in the 1970s. All right, it doesn't make difference. What makes a difference is that Yeshua was born. And Yeshua's birth is very special. But he's not the only biblical hero that had a special birth. In fact, every one of the biblical heroes had a special birth. Whether it is Isaac or Jacob or Samson or David, every one of them had special birth. This is of great importance because the Bible, by giving us mothers like Sarah and Rachel and the other mothers, the mother of Samson and, and the, the mother of David, all of them had difficulties in giving birth or complications in giving birth. And God intervened in every one of these heroes' birth. Miraculously. He opened the, the biblical languages. He opened the, the wombs of Sarah and Rachel and... Samson's mother and about David's circumstance we don't know exactly but he mentions something strange and it's strange the way that his father treated him when Samuel went to Bethlehem to find the king he didn't invite David and so our tradition Jewish tradition has it that there was complications with his birth and it doesn't make difference God intervenes in everybody's birth but especially in the birth of Isaac, that is miraculous. His mother was 90 years old when he, she gave birth. And Jacob, his birth was also complicated with, as a twin with Esau, and the twins fought in their mother's womb, who's gonna come out first. And later on with Samson's mother and father, that an angel came to, to tell them that they're going to have a son and what to do with him. So Yeshua's birth is the culmination, the peak of the heroes of Israel. He's the Messiah, the Son of God. And so what is important, he was born. He was born in the flesh. He was born a human being. His mother carried him nine months like every other mother. He was circumcised on the eighth day. At the 30th day, uh, he was cleansed in the temple together with his mother, according to Leviticus chapter 12. 
All of it goes together, folks. This is the importance of Christmas. And if you want to celebrate it on the 24th of December, enjoy. Enjoy. But remember that what is important is not the tree, which, by the way, is mentioned. A, a, a tree like it is mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 10 in the first verses. It's not something new that was invented by Christians. It was long, long before Christianity. It was already there. So I wish all of you a joy of season, a time of family, a time of friends, a time of meditation on the birth of the Messiah. Read the first chapters of, of, of Matthew. Read the first chapters of Luke. John doesn't mention the birth of Yeshua. Mark doesn't mention the birth of Yeshua. Paul doesn't mention the birth of Yeshua. But it's very interesting, especially the Luke account is very interesting. Read it around the tree with a good cup of, of eggnog or some other good drink that you drink in Christmas time and just have family fun and think of love and joy and goodwill toward men, one and all rejoice in Yeshua. Amen.